Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from sisterwigs.com, and this beauty is the Sarah from John Renault in the color Shaded Sun, also known as 27T613S8. Um, I'm shooting in sort of like shaded sun myself so that way you can kind of get the best of both worlds when the sun sort of dips in and out of the trees so sarah rhymes with zara or zara you know which is another john renault wig and that's a good thing for you to remember so keep that tucked underneath your wig cap because this is not rachel part two a lot of people operate under the misconception that this is like the longer version of the rachel wig that came out last year yes it's hand tied like rachel is um, and it is wavy like rachel is but the wave pattern is different this is not the same sort of corkscrew wave pattern that you see on rachel it's very similar you know it's still kind of kind of vaguely corkscrewy <laughs> corkscrewy i made a word of but no it's uh it's more like a hybridized version of that kind of curly sort of corkscrew wave that's like a deconstructed corkscrew curl and a traditional body wave. Because when I turn around in the back, you're going to see these horizontal lines. And that's really more of a hallmark trait of a traditional body wave than these sort of boho corkscrew waves that have been uh, around that you're more likely to see on the Rachel. And in fact, before I do anything else, let me go ahead and turn around so you can see what Sarah rhymes with Zara looks like on all sides. saying Sarah rhymes with Zara. Well, it's because this is not the long version of Rachel. This is the wavy version of Zara. <laughs> so if you like Zara and you always wished, hey, that would be really great with a hand tied cap and with a wave added, then John Rio agreed and made the Sarah rhymes with Zara to <laughs> accommodate those requests this is also in case you're really observant the full wig version of the um top wave 18 inch so they came out with a topper last year called the top wave 18 inch it was part of their fall uh, 2016 collection it was really popular especially in the longer version so this is the full wig version of that particular topper so now we can all get in on the action. So, all right, before I do anything else, let me go ahead and take this one off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. And then once we're done with that bit, we'll talk about the color and then we'll have some more fun. Sarah by John Renault has a completely hand tied cap. Now these are made by a single person and it takes them about one work week to make them. So every single one of these is completely different from a you know each individual one Whatever so it is hand tied wigs are very special little creatures um and sarah here is no exception she's got a hand tied lace front hand tied monofilament top the back and the sides are also hand tied they there are stretch panels back here but they don't stretch much so if you have a need for a big um crown area this isn't really going to give you that but it does stretch a little bit here on the sides which is good um, i do feel that this one fits me snug my hair is really short and i have it compressed underneath a wig cap at the moment um, so it does fit me uh, snug but it is comfortable um, this cap will accommodate anywhere from um, a petite average to an average large cap size so that will accommodate a about 98% of all women who wear wigs, which is most women, <laughs> which is great. This is a very accommodating cap. Um, we have a very generous extended nape back here that's covered in fuzzy felt with adjustable Velcro ear tabs. We also have felt here on the <laughs> ear tabs. Sorry, I meant back here at the nape, it's Velcro. Um, there's also quite a bit of nice firm metal here on the ear tabs. And if you ever wonder but whether or not uh, just, you know, BT dubs, the uh, TSA will ever get persnickety about the metal in your wigs. They don't. I fly all the time. They have never once pulled me aside because of my wig 
whatever. Um, they know you're wearing a wig, they totally do. But as long as there is nothing underneath your wig that has metal or adds bulk, you know, if you have a wig cap underneath, that's no biggie, wig grip, they don't care. But if, it, if you have like a sock or something under your wig, they're, they're gonna pull you aside. So don't put anything funny underneath your wig cap. And in general, they're not gonna care. Just, you know, a little word to the wise there. But yes, they totally know you're wearing the wig when you walk through that little TSA scanner. Um, and uh, this is what Sarah looks like after you comb her out a little bit. You can see those horizontal lines I was talking about. Um, so you'll definitely want to pick up one of these John Renault wide tooth combs. And this is really the only tool you want to use on this. You'll kind of want to treat Sarah like she's one of those heat defiant wigs. She's not, this is a regular synthetic, but you'll kind of want to treat her delicately like she is a heat friendly synthetic. Why? Because the denure of the John Renault traditional synthetic fiber is BB fine. It's meant to mimic European hair. So it's really fine in denure, uh, meaning that the diameter of the individual hair strands is extremely fine, moves beautifully in the wind, it's almost poetic how pretty it is but that the more natural and the more fine and the more delicate the features look the more delicate they actually are the more fragile they really are that goes for the interior of the cap as well as the hair fibers themselves this is not going to be a good workhorse beat it up and you know takes a look and keeps on ticking kind of wig if you are rough on your hair you'll want to pick something like the soft and subtle by gabor or the scarlet which is another john renault wig you know that's a little bit more of a robust you can beat it up throw it in the corner shake it out the next day and it's still going to wear pretty well <laughs> kind of wig the sarah on the other hand because of her length and her texture combined with these very delicate sort of almost lingerie like cat features i mean Think about it, lingerie is usually made of lace, right? And that's what makes it so delicate. Well, this whole wig is made of lace. It is equally delicate and needs to be treated with an equal amount of care. So I don't want to be too preachy about it, but it, it shouldn't come as a huge shock that these require a certain amount of delicacy with the handling. And the longer the wigs get, the more you have to treat them with that kind of care. Um, so, I mean, if you want to keep them looking great out of the box, which believe it or not is actually something I want to help you do, then you'll follow that advice. This is a great wig for special occasions. This is a great wig if you are good with your hair and treat it with respect. But if, if you tend to be, you know, and there's no, there's no, I have no beef with people who are rough with their hair. It just is what it is, you know? And a wise person is somebody who kind of knows the extent of what they do not know. And if you just know that you're not willing to put that much effort in, just, just go for something like soft and subtle where you can literally beat the heck out of it and it will still look all right at the end of the day. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and put this one back on. Oh, and check out this color while it's off my head. By the way, this one is shedding. Don't, don't be scared of that. I mean, these hand-tied wigs or wigs with a lot of hand-tied features do shed, like my Heidi's by John Reno also shed a ton. It's normal. Um, what's not normal is if it keeps shedding after the first few times you wear it or wash it. Um, but you know, shedding the initial few times you wear it, wash it, comb it, totally normal. In fact, you kind of want that because it'll look a little bit more natural once some of that hair falls off of it. That's why they put a little bit of extra hair on. Okay, but anyway, so I digress. Check out this really beautiful color. This is their Shaded Sun. It's got a really lovely medium golden brown root. It's got this really luscious sort of light auburn blonde color that's mixed with like a baby blonde. And it's an equal measure up here at the top. And then as you get towards the bottom, it's almost entirely that baby blonde. But it's not like an ombre shade. The transition is much more gradual. So it looks kind of like natural sun bleaching, which is really beautiful on a beachy sort of boho wig like Sarah, because it really does look appropriate, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put this one back on now. You want to be careful when you're adjusting the lace features on a wig like Sarah. You don't actually want to shove your finger <laughs> underneath the lace front. You might unleash some of those, uh, you know, because the, the, the lace is like a grid lace. It's a uh, welded lace, they call it. And you don't want to actually break the bonds of that welded lace. I'm going to zoom in on this so I can show you these monofilament features. 
me it's really sunny out but because those knots are dark you can still see them nice contour here to this lace front I mean this is a beautiful cap it fits really well the side coverage for me is is okay you know I get a little bit better side coverage personally on like something like from Tony Beverly but this one is is actually pretty good so now that I'm done talking about that stuff let's talk some specs this is a pretty long wig it's 12.5 inches at the nape so it does go um, almost halfway down my back it's it's pretty darn long and that is with the wave added um, the sides are 15.5 the crown down is 17 inches and the bang well it's not really a bang it's more like the front here is 15 so it really is long it goes uh, about down to my clavicle here so where you see my dragonfly pendant that's where the front of this starts so the layering is very long just like on that zara the total weight on sarah is 5.1 ounces so this is a substantial piece it is a lot of hair and you could probably tell that just by how this sits on me you know i'm i'm a generously proportioned gal <laughs> you know voluptuous you might say uh in the face region whatever and so um it is what it is but you know i've got a lot of face to love shall we say and because of that you know if something looks appropriate on me you could kind of infer that it's got a lot of hair and this wig has a ton of it just a ton but you know what i think that that's kind of cool it makes it look boho you know because boho hairstyles tend to give you a lot of hair tend to give you a lot of volume and this will deflate as you wear it it will kind of lay a little bit more um shall we say naturally as you wash and wear this style simply because uh it's 100 hand tied you know so eventually those knots are going to lay down and pivot a little bit more and then you it won't look quite this poofy so if that concerns you i would hold off on thinning it or writing this one off know that this one will sort of lay a little bit more naturally with wear and with washing but the longer they get the more delicate they become and the more hand tied features you add the more delicate they become so you combine those two features with this Sarah, you get really long and you get really fine, delicate features. So because of that, this one is going to be the ultimate in realism, very beautiful hair, beautiful hair, beautiful wig. Just, oh, it's glorious. It's like angel hair, it's so beautiful, but it's extremely fragile. You have to be very careful with the care and the wear of this wig and you'll wanna comb it frequently, especially at the bottoms. To avoid tangling in fact i even combed it out just like you're seeing here where i started at the bottoms and then worked my way up to the top before i ever <laughs> put this thing on um so you know just so you know this was combed before i demoed it but that's all i did was comb it um and that's because it's so incredibly delicate you want to you know kind of avoid those tangles before they start so I love this wig. I give it two thumbs up. It fits me very comfortably. You know, my hair, my hair is cut very short right now. If my hair were a little bit longer than it is, it would probably be very uncomfortable just because my head's so big. But right now it fits very nicely. Um, this cap will accommodate anything from a teat average to an average large cap size. So it's a very wide range um, of cap sizes that the Sarah will accommodate. Just again, be very careful with the wear and tear. And if you tend to be really rough on your wigs, you'll want to pass on this one or save this one for special occasions. So this has been the lovely Sarah by John Renault in the gorgeous, glorious, beautiful, perfect for this particular style shaded sun. I'm Heather, I'm from sisterwigs.com, that's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com, coming to you from Georgia on this glorious spring day, perfect for reviewing hair. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye. This wig is really delicious. It's very pretty. <laughs>